Welcome to the Intuitive Empress channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. Thank you to my subscribers. I appreciate your love and support. Every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way in as it helps me out a great deal. All right. And if you would subscribe to the channel, why haven't you yet? It is free. It takes a couple of seconds and you get the notifications so you know when any other videos are available. Don't forget to share this video out if it meets someone else's need. All right. Let's start out. We're starting out with the fool. Someone's on a journey. Someone's taking a leap of faith. Hmm. A Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Someone's coming in, but their cup of love is empty. We have the Five of Cups. Hmm. So, someone is taking a leap of faith with a Knight of Cups. Or this person had their cup full. Now their cup is empty. They're going through about what they have lost. It always gets me on every Five of Cups card. You have someone crying over spilled milk, spilled relationships. But there is a Two of Cups right behind them that they don't see. So someone is not seeing the fact that there is love there for them. Hmm. Or they're crying over a past relationship. This person did not take heed to who was for them. They've gone through a transformation and maturity by going through the cycles that they went through. Okay? They have learned their lesson. They have evolved. This is someone who went from a adolescent to a teenager. Okay? This is someone who is also... Full of nostalgia of things past. This person wants victory in this situation, but they only offered you a page of cups. Hmm. A very small offer. Break from that offer. Hmm. There is news coming in regarding this person fast news, fast communication. This person could be reaching out to you. They still have options out there though. They want you because they know that you were good to them. But they are still exercising their options. Confused about what options to take. Hmm. Because we have the devil here. On the devil card is the two lovers. So there's temptation. It could be temptation your way, temptation your person's way. Take it as it resonates. Both of you may have plenty of options in this situation. Hmm. There is justice coming in this situation, some type of balance. Um, either you're stepping out and walking away, or this person is coming back, or you're getting justice for this situation and this person playing with your heart. Take it as it resonates. This is going to cause for strength because in the past you had a lot of conflict when it came to this person, but there is a Ten of Pentacles also coming. Prosperity, happiness, marriage. Why? Because we do have the Four of Wands. This is Twin Flame energy. We just did the Twin Flame reading. I believe it was the first Twin Flame reading of the new year. Check out the Twin Flame reading if you are dealing with a Twin Flame. All right. Wow. We have an ending. So we could have an ending of a marriage. We can have a new beginning, a rebirth. Someone's going through a rebirth. This was a big fight. Someone fought the devil and won. This could be after a fiery trial you went through. Yeah. Because somebody walked away from a situation that no longer served them. Possibly a king of pentacles. 
walking to in your direction. This is Capricorn energy. And fire energy. This is someone who takes action. The king takes action. All of the kings have a bit of fire. They are action cards. Someone walked away. Maybe even in the dead of night. Maybe under the secret and cover of the darkness. You see the moon there. There are secrets there. Yeah, this is something that you have been waiting for. Intuitive community. Hmm. Waiting for a long time. Waiting for your harvest to come in. And this person is coming right on time. Yeah, because we have the Ten of Cups. We have wish fulfillment here. Happy house. Peaceful house. Happy home. Hmm. This is the Emperor card. Again, a card of action. A card of balance. It doesn't matter the sign. So, someone turned from the King of Pentacles into the Emperor by making this choice. Or Empress. Take what resonates. Yeah. In the past, this person gave unevenly to you. You gave more than what they gave. Until something was illuminated. And that is the truth. Clarity of mind, clarity of thought, peace with the dove there. Something was illuminated. What was illuminated Holy Spirit? I think I'm going to go to another deck. Mm, we have judgment. We have judgment. We have judgment in the deck. And we have no wrong with the judgment. Let's see. If you like this part of the message, let me know by liking this video. So we have judgment on deck. Judgment on deck. Holy Spirit, what is going on? What is the judgment with this? How did this card get mixed in? Okay. Well, I'm going to take it. It was mixed in. It was in the wrong deck. We have the main male. We have the emperor here. Hmm. Who sees you as a star. They have hope and faith. This person could be coming in in the month of May. Hmm. <laughs> rushing in. This person is, what did I say? That's fast news. This person is going to be rushing in. In the month of May or between now and May. Because they see you as the star. They are running towards your light. This person is unhappy in regret. As a sudden awareness, we had that sun card, the sudden awareness that where we were going was the wrong direction. So, again, with the chariot, we have rushing. Someone's rushing in. Hmm. They're moving in your direction with high feet speed because they want that success. They're tired of the obstacles, the conflicts. Hmm. This person may have been in hermit energy or you could have been in focus, gaining wisdom, getting inner guidance from the most high, spending some time alone. Now, this person is coming in to collaborate with you. For some of you, it could be in June. For some of you, it's in the winter. We're in the winter months. So between winter and June or June and the next winter. Hmm. This person is going to come in when you least expect it. They're going to call you out the blue. You might be having dreams about this person coming. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. This person could be coming into you broke. Broken spiritually. Broke financially. This person does see you as the High Priestess is in the upright um intuitively you know that this is happening that this person is going to be coming in this person you're highly spiritual so you could be having dreams so pay attention to your dreams again we have enlightenment we have the sun so someone is going to be enlightened through a high priestess either yourself or someone that they trust and admire that's going to give them advice hmm 
This could be at a special date. Maybe it is your birthday. Maybe your birthday is in May. Maybe you're a Taurus or a Gemini. That do not have to be. Okay? We have the Five of Cups. For some of you, you felt abandoned and left out in the cold. You felt backstabbed by this person. But this person is coming in as a King of Cups. They want to love you. But the question is, will you let them? If you do, there is a possibility that this will be a ten of cups. This could end in marriage. This person could be coming in on bending knee. This card is also about homecoming. This person is coming back to where they feel home is. It's about peaceful cohabitation. So where there may have been conflict before, there is going to be peaceful cohabitation. Hmm. All right. If you like this message, let me know. If it resonates, I'm going to say if it resonates. Not necessarily if you like it because I'm going to tell you what you need to know, not what you want to hear. So, if this message resonated with you, like this video, please. Comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to get into I want to get into the situations here. And then we're going to wrap this up. Mm. Somebody's saying goodbye. To a divine masculine or someone said goodbye to you that was on the cut mm. somebody just went through a karmic lesson this could be you this could be your person now this person is praying having faith trying to heal and meditate this person is praying for you to come back that's what i'm hearing Hmm. This person could have discovered someone they were dealing with was bisexual in the closet, unsure of their sexuality. Hmm. We have the divine feminine coming up. Oh. Okay, so we have someone wishing and praying for you, wishing and hoping that you will take them back. This person could be bisexual divine feminine or you could be bisexual if that's what you do no judgment here but someone is having reckless sex someone who has their best friend or partner in crime that covers up for them uh someone who possibly has an addiction to intercourse hmm hmm someone has been secluded soul searching that came up again someone who wanted a no strings attached connection and you see their true colors again this is a red flag to inflame energy from the last reading so check that out somebody saw someone's true colors who did who did who did who did this is someone who's in debt who's broke who's unemployed who's drinking and drugging to cope to cover the guilt and embarrassment. Hmm. This person could be upset because you have a new boo and now they're depressed because they know what they missed out on. Ooh. Someone had secret account had secret accounts where they were cheating. Deceiving. Mind games. Love bond. Now they're in pain because they have backstabbed you. These were some secrets that were going on. This person is working out of childhood wounds, but now they're tracking you. Why are they tracking? 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 Hmm. Hmm. Because you're a boss. This is someone who bumped heads with a lot. That fell for Jezebel's spirit. And they shattered this relationship. This person is going to come in with shocking news. They're losing sleep. 
be playing events over in their head thinking about you because they fell for an illusion. Possibly someone who maybe had money doing a side hustle. This was someone who was on and off detached, hot and cold. Now they're all in their feelings because this relationship ended because you have a new romance. You're working on health. This person left you hanging. Now they're stuck with memories because they were living in a moment. Now they feel like crap because that living in a moment didn't help and you got fed up. And now for some of them, it may be too late. You may be getting a divorce if you were divorced. This person may even be um, in a situation where they have tra traffic tickets because of what they were doing, child support issues, uh, maybe even criminal. But I'm really feeling that this, for most of you, is a divorce, a separation in relationship. Now this person is under pressure with anxiety. Time is running out and they have decisions to make. So they might come in trying to sweep up you, but you're only going to see them as a jackass. And they still have karmic ties and options. This person has spiritual gifts, a lot of spiritual gifts, okay? Um, are they running from their call? They are running. Running, 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 running. And I haven't set this up yet. I have a, a couple things that I did because the next card is police. Boop, boop. Somebody could be going to jail. Boop, boop. Once I get that set up, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. This person may even have a child out of wedlock. Could have family members that are attached or they have a family. A secret family they didn't tell you about. Now they're coming in with love messages. And they're not going to be ha happy because some of you are happily single. This person has even tried to communicate with you telepathically. This person that's been in the block. Hmm. I'm going to let that go. It's coming folding out more and more. But somebody is now seeing your worth and your value. All right, we are going to wrap this message up because we are running into having this be pretty long. Time to now get short messages, but as the messages come, I have to get these to you. So what kind of messages do you have? This person has a lot of a lot to say. Or Holy Spirit has a lot to say about this situation. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Wow. So you are at the place where you're like, I don't want any more drama. Pressure bus pipes, okay? Hmm. You broke too many promises. This is what I'm hearing. You scammed me or that your person got scammed. This person is missing you, of course. They feel like you've got it. You have miracles coming to you. Um, you could be a woman or this person could be a woman or they could be dealing with another woman. Okay, take it as it resonates. We have Virgo energy. We have love takes time. Love takes time. To heal when you're hurting so much. So somebody's hurting. Somebody's hurting. Somebody's hurting. Somebody's hurting. Could be you, could be this person. Now they're upset because you belong to someone else. This person is upset because you belong to someone else and they're without a woman. This person didn't realize how capable you were. And the fact that they needed you. Hmm. Wow. All right. What else do we have as final messages? This is interesting. Hmm. You don't have too much farther, farther to go to get to your happiness. You felt like you could make this person love you. Hurt people, hurt people. The angels cried when you separated because if this is for some of you a twin flame relationship um this definitely was something that made the angels cry because this person will do what they were supposed to do but you're at peace hmm. we have fallen you got somebody falling in love with you those of you who have somebody new that person is falling in love with you that could be your twin flame or 
twin flames can be replaced, okay? Meaning that God can put someone in your life and they will love you better or just, just as good or better than that person, okay? Would have. We have Taurus energy. We have until the end of time. So this person is saying that they will love you until the end of time. Wow. Mm. For those of you that this, this just happened, know that you are never alone. You have seen everything. Hmm. And then this is going to be somebody that fulfills your fantasy. We have hood love. We have talk to me. Somebody wants you to talk to them. We have Leo energy. We have right my wrongs. Someone wants to come in and right their wrongs. But is it too late? Holy Spirit is saying, don't be too hard on yourself. You might still have times. Because again, we have people in the different areas of this. So some of you could be just at the place of separation. So if you are crying, if you're still thinking about that person, if you still love that person, Spirit is saying, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining me at the table, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.